Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will learn how to write a function to get the nth node in a linked list. In other words, we have to write a function named get nth, which will take the linked list as an argument, that is the head node of the list as an argument, and an integer index and returns the data value stored in the node at that index position. For example, if the input linked list is 1, 10, 30, 14 and the index is 2, then output will be 30. That is the node at the index 2, that is 0, 1 and 2. So the node at index 2 is 30. Notice how have we computed this. We have traversed from the head node till the node where the index is 2. Let us now try to understand the algorithm to do this. We will first initialize a variable count to 0. This variable is initialized to keep track of the traverse node. Then we will initialize a pointer to point to the head node. This pointer will be used for traversing the list. Then we will loop through the linked list, that is we will traverse the linked list. If the value of variable count is equal to the past index, then we will return the current node. Otherwise, we will increment the value of the variable count and change the pointer to point to the next node. Let us now look at the step-by-step -step explanation on how this algorithm is working. Consider a sample linked list with four nodes as shown here. This linked list is passed as argument to the function and an index 2 is also passed as an argument to the function. As per the algorithm, we will first initialize a pointer to point to the head node and count variable to 0. As count is equal to 0 and index is 2, count is not equal to index. So we will change the current pointer to point to second node and increment count by 1. Again count is not equal to index. So we will change the current pointer to point to third node and increment the value of count by 1. So count becomes Again, we will check whether count is equal to index or not. Now count is equal to index. So we will return the data stored in third node. So we will return 30. This is how we will get the data stored at a particular index in a linked list. Let us now understand the implementation of function in C programming language. The return type of the function get init is integer. This function is taking the head node of the list as an argument and an index as an argument. We have first initialized a pointer current to point to the head node and a variable count to 0. We will then traverse the linked list until the current pointer becomes null, that is until we reach the end of the linked list. We will then check if count is equals to index. If it is equals to index, we will return the data of the current node. 
otherwise we will increment count and change the pointer to point to next node after executing this while loop we will reach the end of the linked list or the last node of the linked list and the index position is not found if the index position is found inside the loop then we should have returned from the function but as we have reached this part of the function it means that we have not found the index position in the linked list yet so this is an error the function assert takes a variable or an expression as an argument if the expression evaluates to true the function will not do anything otherwise if the expression evaluates to false this function will display an error message on the standard error stream by this we end our tutorial thank you for watching please leave us your comments